everybody welcome back to the vlog my name is Elena I am a special education teacher in the state of Iowa I am a first-time mom you can hear my baby in the back and this is a few days of my life if you're new to the vlog welcome I I uh, just gave birth exactly a month ago today. Maddox Lee is one month old today. So I just figured we would have ourselves a day. We're going to go to Target. I'm going to get some things to do, some one month pictures for her at home and get myself a drink and maybe look at some just fall Halloween decor because I have not decorated at all and just have ourselves a nice little day together. If you are new here, I am on maternity leave. This is, so she's a month old now, so this is like the start of week five of maternity leave. I'm taking nine weeks, so if you found my channel originally for teacher content, you're just gonna have to wait till November when I come back for it, because right now it's full-on mom mode, and I'm loving it. It's really hard to think about going back to work, but I, I have contractual duties that I need to get back to. So anyways, also just a little bit about our story. My husband and I also adopted a nine year old from foster care. We are a licensed foster care and adoption home. I really hope she doesn't need to eat because we haven't even left yet. I think she'll settle down on the cars movie. Okay, we made it to Target. She calmed down as soon as we started driving a bit and fell back asleep so that's good i don't remember everything that i said but i want to get some crafty things to get her one month pictures done today i got some baby safe like finger paint stuff off of amazon so that we can like do her handprints and footprints and stuff on some cute things and i saw some reels of people that got stuff from I think the Target dollar spot that's what I'm gonna look for uh, that we're gonna put her hands and feet on and I'm also gonna buy some paper so that we can like do monthly ones as well as she grows and yeah also I think I was talking about my son we I just realized that there is somebody else in this parking lot who can see me they are parked right in front of me so I'm just gonna look down as if I am on a FaceTime talking to somebody I'm gonna have to pick our son up later. He's nine, he's in third grade, and I am gonna have to pick him up and our neighbor up from school. So yeah, that's that. Okay, I'm gonna go into Target before anyone else sees me talking to my phone and my car. I did a terrible job of filming in Target, but whatever. We're back, had a little nursing session. I still need to pump, but I figured while she's content and it's hard to pump when she's awake, so I need to wait till she falls asleep next. But we're gonna get our little crafting session in. So I figured I'd show you what I got from Target. We have, please don't mind the mess behind me. We're just living with a newborn in our bedroom. So like all of her, things that would normally be in her room we've just brought into our room and maybe someday she'll like when she's one she'll start living in her room and I'll have her clothes and stuff in her room well I mean her bigger clothes are in her room but all of her newborn stuff that we have I just brought them in here because I was sick of walking to her room and grabbing stuff to change her anyways let's look at what I got so this actually came from Amazon but this is what I ordered for the finger paint, I think there was some other influencer who was doing these projects that posted the link and I'm trying to remember who it was, but Michelle Reed, I think. Uh, and that's who I ordered this link set from. Uh, it's just off of Amazon though, so you can search this and find it. Uh, then from Target, in the dollar spot, okay, so this was actually $10, but I got this idea that for props with her little shoot with the shoot that we're gonna do I could every month have like a themed pillow that goes in it so this is what I got for October and then they already had stuff out for for November so this is what I got for her two month one in November so Here's October for one month, November for two months, and then I'm sure they'll have like a Christmas themed one. I'll just keep, you know, going with holiday themes until 
I don't know, seasonal stuff for these photo shoots. I also got this. This is the prop. It wasn't in the dollar section, but it was only $5. It was just with all the crafting stuff. So I got all this in the paper that I got for it in the same aisle. So I saw the person on Instagram who did this put the butt cheeks on it and it was cute, but I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to like display it. Like, look, this is my daughter's butt cheeks. So I'm probably going to put feet or foot and hand or something. I don't know. Hand or feet on this with the orange paint. And that's, yeah, what, <laughs> that's what this is going to be used for. I can show you afterwards. Then I got just some cardstock and Astro Bright paper so that we can continue to do monthly crafts through the first year of her life. So yeah, we'll do some of those today too. For me and for Chris, this is for both of us. I just couldn't help myself. I love caramel apple and we like went through a bag of these last week so fast. So figured I'd give these a shot and then I have an obsession with candy pumpkins specifically the Brock's kind I'll eat off-brand ones but this brand is the best their clothes I tell you what they got me I got some stuff for myself so the first thing that I saw these sweatpants I to be honest actually have like a very similar pair from Target that it's gray and it's got like the elastic on the waist and the ankles but it doesn't fit me anymore because it's a size small and I although I've lost half of my baby weight I gained about 40 pounds a little less than that in my pregnancy and I've lost 22 pounds as of this morning so that's great so I'm halfway there, but I'm still not fitting into my pre-pregnancy clothes. So, um, yeah, I bought these in a size large. I figured even if or when I get down to my pre-pregnancy size, these have a drawstring on them and oversized sweats are always comfy. Like I wear some of Chris's extra large old sweatpants when we have fires out back and just use a drawstring and they're comfy and big. So I figured there was no harm in getting these. They're so soft too. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. I got, I mean, these shirts are always hard to pass up, right? The basic. I used to always get the V-neck ones, but then I just realized in the line of work that I do that that's not smart. When I was just teaching before, it's not like I had cleavage showing, but when I was just teaching in the gen ed setting, it wasn't a problem. But when I started doing special ed, I just need things with high necks on them because I'll be bending over and I don't, I need to be able to like bend over and not have my shirt come away from my chest. <laughs> so yeah, stopped getting v-neck stuff, always crew neck or high neck for me. And then Chris told me to only get one sweater. So I could have gotten five though. I was ready to walk out of there with five. I always do this. Let me know in the comments if you do this too with your husbands. I texted him <laughs> just kind of like hinting at like I wanted to buy stuff for me. I, I told him about getting the craft stuff. I was like, oh man, these sweaters with that eyeball, like the two eyes emojis. Like I'm looking at it. Like they're really, they're popping off in Target right now. <laughs> And so this is the one he told me to just get one, which is fair. I didn't need, to, I mean, I ended up spending a hundred dollars anyways at Target, but this is the one that I got for me. It, it's hard to tell. Maybe it, when I had it in the store, I thought it was more cropped. It's not really, I got it in a medium. I'm smaller on top than I am below. I usually like to get things oversized, but this looked oversized to start like, this set that I'm wearing right now is a large. This is a medium and it's like going like going to the same seam point that this is as a large. Granted, I'm not wearing it right now, but anyways, I thought it was super cute. I loved the detailing in it. You can see the different colors that it pulls in because I actually have an outfit. I was thinking about wearing this underneath this 
but it just makes it really versatile that I could wear it with things that are gray or brown or black because it's got specks of all of it in there and it's so soft you guys I am a big texture person and there were so many of these the first thing I do when I see a sweater if I think it's cute I go and touch it and feel it and if it's soft and cozy like this it's a it's a yes for me if it does not feel soft and cuddly cozy like this then I put it back no matter how cute it is this is it says on here in the care instructions it's a cashmere like softness that's I mean that's what they're going for obviously it's not cashmere it wouldn't cost only $28 if that's what the material was but it does feel like it so very soft very excited about those and yeah okay I've talked to you off long enough let's start making some of these crafts <laughs> Start of the night and I'm waiting to call you It's knocking on doors in the dark, I've been walking out Been laid up on the news, now you're lying The look up on your face, now you smile It's been a bit of a hectic morning Little Miss was up every two hours in the night last night And Peanut pooped in her kennel again We're like... There's been like one night out of the last week where she hasn't. So she's got a vet appointment today though, thankfully. So I can talk about it with the vet and see if there's anything different we need to be doing. But like, haven't changed anything about her diet. Take her out very frequently. I guess the good thing we're cleaning up is that if we're not with her, we just kennel her. But she pooped overnight. And then in the two hours between when Chris left and I came back down to let her out again, she had pooped in her kennel again. And like, we've lived in this house for two years. There's nothing new in the yard. So a little bit of a loss for that, but I guess she's also 15 years old. So this might just be all part of having a geriatric dog that we lose control over our bowels. So anyways, I'm making my coffee. I'm gonna shower and get ourselves a vet appointment. And then my son has an ortho appointment this afternoon. And there's my dogs waiting to be let in. So. Anyways, that's the update. Oh, I never showed you the crafts, and we also took some one-month pictures, so I'll go upstairs and show you what that looks like quick. Okay, so let me just tell you, it is really hard to get a newborn, especially handprint. The feet were tricky as well, but then we did a little at-home DIY photo shoot here. So first, I had the pictures with the pumpkin and the one-month sticker on the sheet over here yeah. and we tried some on the chair so we tried our best i should probably clean up this mess i am obviously back home it is quarter after two i need to go pick my son up from school at 2 55 and then he has an orthodontist appointment at 3 15 so that's kind of my plan for the afternoon and then the evening we'll go on our walk and I'll make dinner like we normally do with the vet we basically ended with a conversation about how long will you let peanut live the way she's living before we decide that her quality of life is really just declined too far and I've had some time to process it and it's not something I was prepared to be talking about and I don't like thinking about it. I've had peanut for almost 10 years now. No, 10, 10 years. I've had it for 10 years, full 10 years. I've had it for the last 10 years. She's 15, but I adopted her when she was five from an animal shelter and we've gone through a lot of life events together. So it's, yeah, like she's the first dog that was mine and like I had dogs growing up, but they were my dad's dogs. And they were hunting dogs. And when they died, I was sad, but they never lived inside. They were always outside dogs and that my dad used for hunting. So it wasn't like we were like cuddling on the couch or I had any part in training them or taking care of them really. Like it's just hard to think about. And I don't want to have to make any of those decisions about when her quality of life has declined too far. And I just, <laughs> I can't. 
I can't do that. So I just hope whenever that time comes that she passes away peacefully at home and I don't have to like go through making that decision. So anyways, enough about that. I ordered a big old haul of stuff from Timu that I'm about to open, but I'm going to do it as a separate video. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut the camera right here on this vlog and this the video of the Timu haul should get posted before this vlog gets posted because it's gonna be a few days of my life so if you want to see what's inside of here there's supposedly nine items in here that I paid $52 for I will link the Timu video and you can go and watch that separately hello everybody it is 1 53 this is the first time i'm checking in today sorry it's just kind of been a wild day if you know anything about getting married and having to change your last name with your marriage license filing that your social security your driver's license insurance everything it's a lot add on a newborn and adopting a child and trying to do all three of that at once has just been a whole thing especially since we adopted our son from foster care he still is entitled to medicaid and an have a crying infant and i have to go pick up my son to go take him to his med check appointment but anyways it's been a productive morning that's just why i haven't gotten on here because there hasn't been a lot to show i now need to hurry up and get over to my son's school and pick him up so that we can go to his appointment so i'll keep you updated with the rest of the day try to take one ride around in my body in my body can't say I saw you right when I started, when I started I'm a hometown hero, that's a far that I came But I never knew if it would fall into place I became what I wanted and I'm still on the way, on the way. Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, something's different Ain't coming home the way I left it this time, it's my city. Hello and happy Saturday. Oh my goodness, my eyes, let me fix that. Okay, I am currently nursing in the car because we are at our nephew's fifth grade football game and it is hot out. I mean, technically it's only 76 degrees, but the sun is beating down and we're sweating out there. And yeah, it just is more uncomfortable than I expected, 70 seven degrees to look like so I brought Maddox to the car and I'm nursing her and I don't I think we're just gonna wait out the game and here it's uh, maybe almost the fourth quarter so yeah it's almost fourth quarter so we're just gonna hang out out here but I was supposed to go to a dress try on fitting uh, appointment for my friend for a wedding that I am in this summer but that is two hours away and it was always going to depend on how much sleep we got last night and girlfriend was up every two hours. So I felt exhausted and wasn't about to drive four hours in one day with her. It was just gonna be me and her because Chris had other stuff going on at home. We've got a guy landscaping in our yard today. A lot of stuff going on. So I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here because it's Saturday and I'm now taking you along for Wednesday, Thursday, I start with Wednesday, so four days now. So not a whole ton going on for us the rest of the afternoon. Hawkeyes play this afternoon against Ohio State, and I'm just mentally preparing for it to be a blowout, although I would love to think that we could compete and win, but just being realistic. So anyways, I'm going to end off the vlog here. If you made it this far, let me know if you're watching for mom content or you're here from teacher content still. But either way, I am glad that you are here, and I will see you next time. Bye. I've really been going out of my way. I'm coming right back, and it'll be worth the wait.